Welcome back everyone, I'm pretty sure all of you guys already know that a new Xbox console has came out, the Xbox Series S and the Xbox Series X, and I'll go ahead and exactly show you how to play your games that you already own on those consoles on any Android phone that I think is above Android 6.0 Marshmallow, which I'm sure is like 95% of you watching this video right now. So the process is really easy. All you need to do is make sure that your Xbox Series X or S is connected to a Wi-Fi connection of some sort. And as long as it's powered on and or it's connected to a power supply, you're pretty much set. So the very first thing you want to do is make your way over to your Xbox and you want to turn on remote play features. So in order to do this, you want to open up your settings app. You want to go to devices and connections. You want to hit remote features and then you want to enable remote features or remote play, whatever it is on the bottom of your screen. Whenever that, you know, whatever I'm showing now, you basically want to follow those steps and enable that specific spot. And as long as you're connected to Wi-Fi, then you're pretty much set. Now, luckily for you guys on Android, the Xbox app is actually much better and much more intuitive and way more responsive than the Xbox app for iPhones, which is kind of sad because I own an iPhone and I use it every day. But on your Android device, you want to go ahead and make your way over to the Play Store and you want to download the Microsoft Xbox app. So I'll try to link it down below if I remember, but if not, you can always just search for Xbox and it'll pretty much be the first app that comes up on the Play Store. So once you go ahead and download it and install it, you can pause this video whenever you need to. You can pretty much open it up and you want to make sure that you sign in with the same credentials as whatever Xbox gamer tag that you have, the email that you have on your Xbox account. You want to make sure it's the exact same account. If you sign in with a different account, this might not work properly. I've only done it with the current account that I have on my, you know, current Xboxes, and it pretty much works every single time. So once you go ahead and go through all that stuff, you want to go ahead and you'll pretty much be presented in this specific app, which is really just a glorified Xbox app. I mean, I like it a lot. It's kind of like, kind of like too much advertising in my opinion, but it works and I like it. You will notice though that you on the top right corner, there's like a little Xbox icon with like Wi-Fi signals emitting from it. What you want to do here is you want to go ahead and click on that specific icon and you'll see a couple several sections down below. It'll say enable remote. It'll say, you know, stream remote features or whatever. I don't even know the, you know, play installed games and use this controller. What you want to do is the first option. You want to play your Xbox right now and you want to stream it over to your Android phone. So you want to go ahead and click on there. If you click on that and it just says, you know, set up Xbox or whatever, you want to go ahead and follow those instructions to set up those Xbox to your specific, you know, Xbox that you have in the Xbox app. Now, like I said, if it's a little iffy sometimes, but I'm like the least gamer person ever. So if I can figure it out, I'm pretty sure all of you guys can figure it out too. And once you click on that button, you will pretty much see that your Xbox will now be streamed over to your Android phone. So whatever you do on your Xbox Series X or S, it'll pretty much be transferred over to your Android device. And what's really cool about this is that as long as you're on a Wi-Fi connection or data plan, and you also have a Wi-Fi connection, you know, set up on your Xbox, you can pretty much be anywhere in the world and play your Xbox games, which is awesome. So you just need to go ahead and connect a Bluetooth controller to your Android device, and you can go ahead and stream whatever you have in your Xbox to your Android phone, including all the games that you have and all that stuff. So that's really pretty much the process. If you guys have any questions or into any other problems, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys can hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my other channels. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.